just, I mean, big word, but I, it was just the antithesis of everything we want to do on a football field. It's just we don't want to, we don't want to put any of that stuff on tape. It's just we play bad. We know that. We accept that. We know that. It's the National Football League. And we said it all week. They're a good football team, and their record does not show at all how good they can be. And, uh, we got to come to work and, and take this next week and really evaluate ourselves, look in the mirror, and come to work and get better. Does this my kind of thing start snowballing or one, one thing affects another or does this kind of starts going downhill? Yeah, I mean, you just kind of try to take every drive, you know, as it is. You know, it's, it's the beginning of a new drive, beginning of the series. Um, you, you try not to let a momentum affect you, and, and obviously sometimes it does, and in this case it did, but um, you just got to do a better job of just honing in and everyone taking the responsibility of um, doing their job better. And it starts it starts with me. I mean, I, I played a terrible game. You know, just got to keep working and, and just eliminate negative plays. Staying out here and, and uh, the, on the East Coast, kind of, is that going to help at all? Or? I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. No, I think these guys know what they're doing. Um, I think we have a good plan in place and uh, hope to have a, a great week of work and move on to next week. Obviously disappointed being the hometown guy coming out here and you all these friends and family and so forth watching you and cheering for you. It's going to be just... Uh... Yeah, you know, um, it, it is it, and it's tough, but um, I'll get to see them all after the game and obviously uh, didn't want to see them after a 24-0 show, right? But at the end of the day... Um, Family's family. God is God, and football's football. That's really how you got to look at it. Statistically, you got a good game. So I guess, what did you feel? I, was, I love numbers, but statistics don't really matter. I mean, not when the only statistic we really care about is 24 to zero, right? Uh, I mean, we didn't cross the 50 through the first 98 minutes of the game. So it's us, and, and we got to work on that. And they took it to us, and we got to get better. And if you look at it any other way, that you're just creating excuses. It was, I mean, it was everyone today. I mean, it was offense, defense, special teams. There was, there was mistakes everywhere, obviously. So was there a point where you just kind of felt like it just wasn't a good day? You know, if everyone takes a turn, right, everyone takes a turn, all 11 guys, I mean, all, let's say all 15 guys offensively, 15 guys defensively, three guys special teams-wise. I mean, if all, if all 53 of us, 48 of us, however many guys we dress, 46, if everyone takes a turn with a bad play, we're going to have 46 bad plays on tape out of 130, and, you know, we just can't do that. That's not winning football, right? And a couple of us took a number of turns. I took a number of turns today, right? So, got to stay inside out, protect Derek, and uh, just try to get the show on the road. You know, that's not our identity, and we know that. How, I guess, how hard is it to get the show on the road when you're, you know, kind of at a start and stop? It's a struggle. It, it, it's a struggle. You have to stay on track on first down, and that's all, all 32 offenses across the league would tell you that, right? All, all 32 would tell you you have to stay on track on first down. We didn't do a great job of that tonight. We had a lot of third downs, and um, it, it, you know, it, it's tough. It's tough to play winning football, obviously. Everybody gets it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, sure. If you do that, in my mind, you know, until that clock is zero, there's always a chance. And I mean, shoot, that's just the way you're going to take it. And that's just the mentality you gotta have because you know things aren't always gonna go your way now in this league and I've been in the league for six years now so I've seen a lot of stuff. Um, but from the guys I've been around, like I've been around a, like some pretty good ones, they told me, you know, it doesn't matter how the game's going, you never ever count yourself out and you never ever, you know, admit defeat because then you're gonna go out there and play crappy and then bang, give a sack, bang, you help them pat their sacks, I mean pat their stats and you're like, you know, damn, like, you know. You guys, as a group, with the offensive line group, have been so good, you know, recently. I mean, did you feel like it was a step back? No, I, um, I feel like you just got to go in there and make the corrections. Like, I don't think there's any step backs. I just think there's minor setbacks. You know, like you don't like, you know, you're doing so good, and you know, no one's perfect. So, you know, things aren't always going to go away. Like I said, so we're going there this week, watch the film. See what we could have done better, plan better, practice better, and then go against our um, against the Jaguars. Just, uh, great game. What, what was the Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I guess it, yeah, we, we got to play better um, as a team. We know that, um, but the good thing is, you know, if you lose 24-23 or 24-0, it's still a loss. So, um, you know, hopefully we can, you know get as much as we can from this loss and use it for the future. What were they doing out there offensively or defensively? You guys couldn't really get in the rhythm and get going. Yeah, I think we, I mean, they're a really good defense first off. Um, 
but we shot ourselves in the foot a lot too. We had a lot of uh, penalties and um, just couldn't really get going. And you know how that is whenever you get some penalties. You get behind the sticks and then you get off of your, you know, what you're trying to do and um, just never really found a rhythm. But, um, you know, that's on us to figure it out. Hunter, you guys have been rolling the last few games offensively. So what do you think that those issues kind of came from just because they hadn't been issues the past few weeks? You know, I haven't even watched the film. Like, I'm still kind of digesting what's going on. Uh, maybe ask me Wednesday or Thursday. I could have probably a little better answer. Um, but, you know, I think we just shot ourselves in the foot a lot, a lot today. And they're really good defense, right? Mm -hmm. um, so a combination of that and you, know, you just got to play better. The team is on to Jacksonville next, so staying here on the East Coast. Do you think that in some ways that might help the team have I hope, regroup? I hope it does. It's, uh, you know, I, we went to London back in 2019, my rookie year, and they gave us a good time to bond, a good time to kind of get everything together um, and, you know, play some good football after that. So hopefully we can kind of go in here, get better, have a good week of practice, um, get around the guys and kind of come together as a team. You know, that's the goal, right? And so um, that's what I'm hoping for. Appreciate that. Appreciate Thank you. That. Thank you. First, first uh, thoughts on what in the heck happened out there today? Wasn't good enough. Um, when you're playing a, you know, a team high intensity stuff like that, you got to go and not only match your energy but exceed it. And um, we didn't do that today, so it was disappointing. But um, we got to learn from it um, fast and be ready to go. Um, so that starts tomorrow. So. Yeah, it's disappointing. We always talk about complimentary football, like that's the way to win. But does it feel sometimes like when one thing goes wrong, it's kind of on all sides of the ball? Well, yeah, complimentary football is helping each other out, um, especially in certain situations. And on both sides, we didn't do that today. So, yeah, it's just it's disappointing. Um, you come out and in a game like this, you gotta you gotta be ready to go from play one. Um, clearly, we we were not ready. So. Uh, you know, we put the work in. This. I'm not saying like that, but just mentally, um, we've got to be locked in, especially on the road. Because, you know, momentum, a team on the road like New Orleans, the crowd gets going, things like that, it can be a trickle down effect. And um, for us, we just didn't do a good job of weathering the storm. Was there a point either before the game or during the game where you just felt like it's just not our day? No, it's, 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 I never feel like that. You know, it's a, it's a team game, so you just got to be, you got to have everybody on the same page no matter who it is um, you got to trust your work during the week you got to trust that you can dominate the man in front of you um, if everyone's doing their job and doing that at a high level we're going to have a good chance so uh, you know, we just got to keep working offensively defensively is this probably one of the poor games you've been around in a while just, just yeah i don't know we've had some you know like this in the past so it's just disappointing man i want to win simple as that i know these guys want to win I know the coaches want to win, um, so yeah, we got work to do. Was, was there some? I mean, with Kamara and Hill, they play a lot of different you know games off of them and, and use, use them well to complement each other. Was, that, was there something they were doing this kind of throw you guys off, or what were they doing? I guess differently. I don't know. I got to see the film. I got to see the film. Um, like I said, you know, it's 11, 11 guys out there. We got to do it. You got to be on top of it every single play. So I got to I got to watch uh, watch the film. A lot of people say that you know think of, of practice on the field as being the most important day this week is Monday the most important day when you get in the film room I think it doesn't matter every single day is important um, you got to try to improve every single day so you know you got to get everybody on the same board um, today wasn't our day obviously um, but we got another game coming up you know this is a long season um, we got to just buy in you know from, from top to bottom is this week being in Florida a, a good thing in, a, in the sense that this team gets a chance to maybe uh, bond and kind of take what happened today and, and build moving forward? Yeah, you know, I think it'll be it'll be good for us. Um, at the end of the day, you know, it's, we got a great locker room, we got great coaches, we got great players. Um, sometimes it just doesn't gel right away. Um, we've had some bright spots, we've had some low low spots, but um, we, we trust each other. And, um, we just have to... Like I said, we just got to keep keep trying to improve in every way we can. Thanks, Max. Thank Appreciate you. you guys. Was there a point? In the, was there a point in the game where you felt like it was not our day today? No, no. I never, I never think that way. You know, I'm, I'm a guy that always thinks, you know, uh, sooner or later someone's gonna make a play, you know, and give us the momentum that we need. So I, I always, you know, I had faith in the general, general game. I know it's obviously not the way you wanted to go, but. 
to be on the field here in Louisiana? Like, was that was that a cool moment? I mean, yeah. until the end. Yeah, it's a, you know, even though we came out with the, you know, we didn't get the win. You know, it's always a special moment. You know, my whole family come, he was able to support me. So uh, today was still still a good day. You know, fortunately, you know, we didn't come out with the win, but. You know, just, you know, my family here, some people that never was able to come to a game, you know, they was there to be able to see me live, so, you know, you, Did you get to see anybody, able, did huh? you get to see anybody last night, or who all was here today? Uh, no, nah, I didn't, I wasn't able to see, see anybody last night, you know, I was able to, uh, you know, when I'm in town, I want to, you know, I can kind of, you know, eliminate as much of the distraction as, as possible, and my people know that, so, uh, I didn't see any, I didn't see anyone last night. Who was here today? Uh, probably like 60% of my family. <laughs> about 60% of my family. It'd be nice to see you. Yeah. Okay. yeah. What happened with the jersey? That, I mean, was it your grandma made or your auntie made? Uh, you asking what happened to the jersey? Yeah, did you get it? Or did they uh, she, it? Yeah, she yeah. definitely, she definitely had. Yeah, yeah she, had, she had two of them. Oh, well, really, she had two of them. Yeah. Two of them was uh, made, and you know, my son also had one. Oh, no. Nice. Yeah, thank you. What do you think kind of you guys have been rolling over the past few games? What change coming into this one? I don't know, honestly. It's, it's going to be one we really got to see the tape. I, I can't even tell you. Just That's mine. Um, yeah, it just came out. It was a little flat. They matched a couple of things we did. The coverage worked out, got off the field. I mean, yeah, I can't even really put, a, put my finger on it right now. I'm not, I'm not too sure. You talked this season already about turning frustration into action. Um, it seems like a frustrating after this one. What's, what's kind of the key to you know, turning this around, you know, moving forward, you guys have had a few games where, you know, you might have been in it, but this one was a pretty bad performance. How do you bounce back? Stay the course. That's all we can do. Stay the course, see the, see the tape, make the changes, and come back with energy, and um, it's about really all you can do. If I do the thing so ball it in a game like this where one thing goes bad, another thing goes bad, both offense, defense, special teams, this might have really nothing you can point and say, wow, we did something. Yeah, I mean, um, not really, not really sure to say to that. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what it looked like today. It was a collection of just not doing it right in all three phases. How good was that defense out there? Were they doing anything differently that you guys maybe that surprised you guys a little bit? Um. Yeah, I mean, they, nothing on the back end. I mean, it was nothing that surprised anybody. I wouldn't say it was just poor execution.